Now you might think why would you need an air quality sensor? The simple answer is for your health. We eat healthy food to get good nutrients, we exercise, we go for a run to keep ourselves healthy. But what about the air that we breathe? So that's why today we will be looking at this air quality device that will give us various information about the air quality at your home and more importantly with winter coming in we tend to keep our windows closed and it would be good to know the quality of air in the room. Now this is a simple device that you can use to measure various factors about the air quality. It has a bunch of sensors ranging from measuring carbon dioxide, particulate matter sensor, temperature, humidity sensor etc. Now the main thing about this device is that we can use this to measure air quality without the need of any cloud services. This device can run totally local and you can view all the information in Home Assistant using the official Home Assistant integration. You can also choose to run it as a standalone device without even connecting it to your Wi-Fi network and view the measurements on the screen and use the LED bar as indicators. Now this device comes in this simple box with this 2 meter long USB-C cable. It also comes with these plastic stands that you can attach to keep this device standing. Now to set this up, you just have to plug in to the USB power supply and the device will start off. To configure this device, you have this button in this slot with which you can select the various options during the setup. Now on the initial boot, it will ask you if you want to run it offline and if you press the button, then the device will not connect to your Wi-Fi and run it as a standalone device. Now we are going to connect this to our Wi-Fi network. Once it starts showing this connection option, flip the device and scan the QR code. This will then connect your phone to the Wi-Fi hotspot from the device and you can specify your Wi-Fi credentials. Once you press save, it will then connect the device to your Wi-Fi network. Next, head over to Home Assistant and the device will pop up in the Devices page. Click on Configure and you can now see the device's various sensors in Home Assistant. Now let's look at the various measurements that this device performs. Firstly, we have this carbon dioxide level that tells you the level of carbon dioxide in the room. Now, according to this chart from Air Gradient, less than 800 parts per million is excellent for air quality and below 1000 is acceptable while above it is not ideal. Next, we have this nitrogen oxides index that tells you the changes in the amount of nitrogen oxides in the air. This does not tell you the exact concentration but only tells you the changes in the level such that we can avoid certain places. Nitrogen oxide usually originates from vehicle exhaust, certain industrial processes and power plants. Mostly in normal household, we might not have high levels, but maybe in industrial or high traffic areas, it would be more relevant. Next we have is this particulate matter sensor that measures particles that are 0.3, 1, 10 or 2.5 micrometers in diameter. Now these are really minute particles that can suspend in the air for a very long time and when inhaled can get stuck deep into your lungs causing health issues. Now it's good to keep an eye on this to know about certain situation wherein you should wear a mask or not. Like I usually noticed it was peaking in levels when I was vacuuming my place so now I know I need to wear a mask. Finally we have this TVOC level which stands for total volatile organic compounds in the room. These are some of the chemicals that can evaporate in the air at room temperature and can originate from daily used chemicals like paints, cleaning supplies, pesticides, building materials, etc. Now according to this table, it should not be more than 200 parts per million but lower values is always better. Now apart from this, we have a bunch of configuration options like you can change the display brightness, change the temperature unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can also change the LED bar brightness then for what the LED bar is used to show if it's carbon dioxide or particulate matter and also the option if you want to share the data with the air gradient online services. Now I created this dashboard showing all the sensors right from CO2 to PM levels and this graph is adaptive with different colors if the levels are crossing their acceptable thresholds. Now I will provide the YAML configuration for these graphs in the article that I will link into the description below. Now this was connecting the device to home assistant. 
You can always choose to add this device to Air Gradient dashboard, which is an online service that you can access from the internet. You can add the device, update it, also view all the sensor data as visual graphs directly in the dashboard. Along with these graphs, you also get more information about what does the sensor data mean. Now, this is a free service that you can use to view the data. You just have to create an account with Air Gradient for free and then link the device to the dashboard by scanning this QR code on the back of the device and follow the steps to add the device to the dashboard. Now, if you don't add the device to the Air Gradient dashboard, then your data is still local and it does not leave your home network. Also remember, you can always run this device totally standalone without even connecting it to your Wi-Fi and you can see the measurements on the screen. Now finally, it comes down to the price. You can get a fully assembled device for $195, which I would say is a bit pricey. But you can also buy the kit version for $138 that you can assemble by yourself. It's not some rocket science to assemble this, but you will save some amount by assembling it by yourself. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Now, if you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me your coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.